you have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 315th episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my lovely co-host, the lovely Laura, aptly named. All right, well, we're talking the business of plumbing. All right, hey, if you're interested in having a plumbing business, you're in the right spot. Mm -hmm. If you have a plumbing business, you're definitely in the right spot. If you just like talking plumbing business, you're in the right spot. Would, right? And who wouldn't, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Hey, we got to, I've been looking forward to this episode. <laughs> you, you never say that. Well, they're all fun. <laughs> hey, this is all stuff you exactly. got to know if you're serious about growing a plumbing business. Oh, in fact, I asked yes. the question tonight, mm -hmm. is branding, does branding really matter to your plumbing business? Nope. Huh? Nope. 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 Doesn't even matter. Doesn't matter at all? Okay, show there we go. It. Let's just show it. <laughs> all right, we're going to find out. We're going to go over that. All right? Hey, but it's great having you here. Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're a part of the live social audience, type live in the comments. Mm -hmm. If you're watching the replay, type replay. Let us know you caught the replay. Mm -hmm. And if you're listening to the podcast, you know what to do. Just keep on listening. All right. Hey, Josh So Ferguson. who do we have? Josh Ferguson. Josh, all right, welcome. Time for some in. nuggets. All Jordan. right, the Jordans are here. Love that text we got earlier, yes, guys. That is so much fun. So good much for you. Fun. Good for yes. you. Aaron. Hey, Aaron. Hey, good to see of, you um, back. Bahama, part of the Bahama Plumbing, right? Yes. All right. Ashley Tanner. Good to have you guys here PPC. watching live. Mm -hmm. Part of the live social audience. Kathy Indeed. Copeland. Get to meet Kathy face to face in just a few weeks. I can't wait. I can't other. wait. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to that. Carmen. 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 All right. That's one of my favorite names. It's just. It is cool. It's good. Carmen Lacasa. All right. should be. Jeffrey. He should be. Jeffrey, there's a. a hey, star. Jeffrey. I like Jeffrey. your. Uh, <laughs> I like your dog. little guy there. All Jeffrey right. Spielberg, the All right. Where you out of? All right. Let mm -hmm. us know the name of your plumbing business if you yeah. have one, okay? Uh, Mikey Mike says, oh, yeah, he's waiting on his yeah. new brand. Congratulations, yes. Mikey. Can right on, right that. on. Chris. <laughs> there we go. There's the <laughs> other. Live from the kitchen cooking for my queen. You must right. <laughs> it starts man. in the kitchen, brother. It starts in the kitchen. <laughs> Matt Carter. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey Matt. Matt. Good to see you, man. Part of Matt. All right. Chris Carter. Christine. The Vocolos. Yeah. Just Detroit, uh, Carter's yeah. Plumbing, Detroit. Yeah, Carter's yes. Plumbing, Detroit. Mm -hmm. Yes. They are a plumbing park. Mm -hmm. Well, we just had another one. And Christine. Mark, Polo, yep. Yes. Or MVP PPC. Plumbing. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Triton Plumbing says Success Academy is amazing. All right. Good for wow. you. Thank All right. You so stick much. with hey, it. Me, All right. Stick, stick with, well, with it. Well, I think this is a great time to say, because we always bring it up at the end, right. the Success Academy. We do have um, the Success Academy, an online training portal to teach you everything you need to know about Running a plumbing business. Running a successful, self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. That's a key word. I like mm -hmm. that. Self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't have to be there babysitting. Mm -hmm. uh, does that sound like, do you really want to be there <laughs> in the business, having to babysit the guys and making no. sure everything's getting done? <laughs> or much rather be on a beach somewhere. Or a mountain. Or a mountain, right. I like Whatever I posted a picture the other day um, on Facebook. It was, you know, Florida palm trees. And right. I said, who wouldn't love Florida? <laughs> there was a lot of people that and didn't it. love Florida, right? Yeah, they wanted the mountains. Why well, gotta get there's mountains. mountain people, right? Yeah, so. Which of course we got mm -hmm. some of our clients are mountain people, are mountain people. And so it makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, but you much rather be in the mountains, mountains, or you much rather be on a beach, whatever, or you really want to be in the truck, <laughs> or if you're not, you're, you know, we talk about getting your butt out of the truck, mm -hmm. but it's also a metaphor. Your butt can, even though it can be out of the truck. Mm -hmm. Sadly, your butt's mm -hmm. still hey, in Daniel. the truck because you're there, you know, operationally yep. all the time, right? Uh, okay. Robert Mueller, personal plumbing out of Oceanside, California. All right. Hey, Robert. Nice okay. to have you here. Good. Um, try, oh, Mickey's Mickey, back. Hey, all right. Mickey. <laughs> yes. Good to have oh, you here. Yeah. They, they're the ones that said that uh, the Success Academy is amazing. And you're right, it is. If we Good. can say so ourselves. Matt Toomey's right. in the house. And it, it looks like it should say Thome, but it's not. It's Toomey. 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 Learned. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Still One of those learn. cool names. Yes, All right. I'm live in the kitchen while Jeff is outside grilling. <gasps> All hey, right. Guys are cooking dinner tonight. There we go. All right, my Smart brothers. Smart men. Smart men. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're All talking right. branding. We're talking brand. Maybe. In fact, a yes. question. Oh, let's pull, let's pull question. the question up. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite brand? And not what? necessarily plumbing. That's not what we're talking about. Right. But what's, what's your, your favorite, favorite brand? Yeah. So I, you know, I gave some thought. And I'm, not, I'm not much of a brand guy. I mean. Well, you're loyal things. to a brand. You're loyal to a brand. But yes. my favorite brand is mm -hmm. the, the Converse, you know, the Chuck Taylors, the Chucks. In fact, <laughs> I've posted some pictures and people have recognized working out. I I, I, I do, have, the, I do have a Chuck Taylor, I, the Chucks, I have in my closet. I'm kind of a, like, 
at least. I got a bunch of Chucks. Maybe. Okay, maybe. I just like the Chucks. And I, I really like that brand mm-hmm. because, um, and we'll kind of touch on these things a little bit, but emotionally, I mean, I actually used, I wore those. In fact, we were getting the steaks the other oh, night. It scared me a little bit. I was in the, mm-hmm. I was getting the steaks, you know, at mm-hmm. our favorite butcher shop, uh-huh. you know, with a good, mm-hmm. you know, by, by Google, it has really good stuff, good. I know. Mm-hmm. And this older guy yeah. in the back, and I mm-hmm. guess older, I mean, our age. Our, our, my age. <laughs> right. All of a sudden, he just lets out this, hey, I love Amen. the Chucks. I used to wear those when I played basketball, you know, um, junior varsity. Mm-hmm. And so, I mean, I did the same thing. Mm-hmm. That, so that's why I relate to that. It takes me back as an older guy. And so, I, mm-hmm. you know, I like it. You and know, those it means were real I'm, supportive for basketball. I know, I know. <laughs> but, it, but it's, that's, so yeah. it, emotionally, that's it, it's my thing. Mm-hmm. So I, that's probably, um, I mean, we're not, I mean, we like nice things. But of all the stuff, I mean, mm-hmm. when I played music, um, you know, guitar-wise, mm-hmm. you know, I was a Fender guy, mm-hmm. you know, and that kind of PBM. Mickey amp. says his wife wears right. Chucks only. All right. Our daughter does as well. She got yep. that from her daddy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Brooks running Brooks shoes. Running. Brooks, yep. Oh, yeah. Brooks are good. Those are comfy shoes. Yep. Um, uh, Jeff Jordan right. said Air Jordans. Air Jordan. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason for that. I wonder. All mm-hmm. right. Spartan. Spartan. Okay. Ooh, okay, yeah. Like the Spartan machine yeah, or that kind of thing? That's a good question, too. Is there a brand? You know, in the plumbing field? Yeah. And in the realm that, that you really liked, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was whatever. I could. Carmen is you know, fancy. Right. He's very bougie. Okay, um, socks, socks and, and Crocs, Crocs. <laughs> over All right. Oh. Okay. Um, sports clip, favorite brand store. They really went above and beyond. Okay. 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 Go get the yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So meaningful there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Um, what's the, I don't know what the Car- oh, Car- Car- um, shoes, Mac. I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. Milwaukee. I, I think uh, out of fair, yeah, mm-hmm. I kind of gravitate towards Milwaukee power tools mm-hmm. when, when I was turning a wrench mm-hmm. or whatever. So Blood for some stones. reason, you what? know. What is that? What is that? Bloodstones. Chris, what is Bloodstones? What but if you see that, with the, what is it? I don't know what it is. You know, but you know, <laughs> brand brand can be a very powerful thing. Mm-hmm. You know, we were at the Rigid, Rigid Tools. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, well, you know, we were at the um, you know the mall this weekend doing some <laughs> shopping and <laughs> and um, the I Golden know. Arches. <laughs> the Golden Arches. <laughs> <laughs> know the, means hot, hot fries. fries. <laughs> they used to be good fries, but now when I know they changed the oil or something. Well, because it was killing seals or baby seals or something. I don't know. <laughs> I so it. they changed things up. Lamborghini. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A Lamborghini, you know. very loyal to that. But mm-hmm. um, you know, it passed by the you know the Apple Store, mm-hmm. and of course it still oh, had a line. Yeah. But even because it's the mass thing, you can only allow one person in the big store at the same time because right. you know we'll die of COVID. But mm-hmm. um, but there's still a line in that I kind of stuff, so. and people are very you know loyal to brands. Very loyal. You know, yes. there's an emotional attachment. <laughs> Longhorn State. <laughs> Maybe okay. <laughs> we okay. We need to get okay. you on to Ruth Chris then instead. Yep, Mikey. That's what we need to do. Get your real so, steak. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, so, you know, brands brands a pretty p- powerful thing. Mm-hmm. And sadly, you know, it, those <laughs> brands... you didn't even ask me what my favorite brand was. Well, I wanted you to chime in. Come oh. on, we've got a show here. We've got to work. <laughs> Time's ticking away. <laughs> you were talking. <laughs> I, I, could, I could barely <laughs> get a word in advice. <laughs> That's what you heard. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. So, sweetheart. Yes, honey. What's your favorite brand? No, I don't have one. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Um, and I, not necessarily because I own anything they have other than the sunglasses. Tiffany. I love Tiffany. I love the story of Tiffany. I love. I just love the blue. You love the them. blue of Tiffany. And you do have a lot of Tiffany glasses. Sunglasses, yeah, because they make fun sunglasses. Yeah. So I like that. That's your thing. Um, other than that, no. I know. We, we, we're not, um, I think in, in our life together, there's nothing wrong with it. When we know people that are... You know, they got the Gucci and the Rolex mm-hmm. and the blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah, and the blah, 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 and the blah, and they're really into all mm-hmm. the, and that's that's cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, you see sure. how powerful brands are. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. I mean, yeah, that's but, high quality stuff, too. But we, so. we were, we've we never been nope. loyal to a certain, Mm-mm. you know, car Brand. manufacturer or, you no. know, or. Gosh, we've had all different kinds yeah, of cars. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Or, or even, you know, clothing other than. Mm, nope. You know, my chucks and your I chucks. guess your uh, sunglasses. Your sunglasses. So there we go. See, that's how exciting the <laughs> Million Dollar Plumber and Lovely Laura are. As in, not very. <laughs> <laughs> no, but brand, branding is very important. So does, you know, the question, the answer to the question, does mm-hmm. does branding matter to your plumbing business? Heck yes. Okay. Yeah. It does separate you uh, mm-hmm. from the rest of the pack. I mean, right. it's, it is very important. In mm-hmm. fact, uh, who said they're in, in the Success Academy? Mm-hmm. You know, we like to, uh, <laughs> you know, 
it, it's it's all there's things you got to know before you even get the brand. Right. But branding could be one of those things right off the bat that mm-hmm. we could say you need to get get it put together. Definitely. Okay, because mm-hmm. it is very very important. Besides mm-hmm. implement. No, what what, what do we do after we, we make it through the all the modules. modules in the academy? Mm. All right. It's top secret. You have to wait till the end, Aaron. All right. Th- th- that question will be answered <laughs> at the end. All right. Okay. We, we can tell you now, but then, you know, we okay. have to kill you. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, you stick around here. It'll become, it'll become obvious, mm-hmm. okay, what, what you'd want to do. Mm-hmm. All right. Yep. But it's, um, you know, we c- branding could be one of those things that could, should be right up front. Mm-hmm. I mean, just even just to get to conceive that idea. Mm-hmm. But. There's just so much that has to be in place. You know, right. I use the example of building a home, and you got to do the first rough, second rough, and there's mm-hmm. other things that need to come before it. Right, like in your price, right? Right, but branding is kind of one of those finish, mm-hmm. you know, finish things, mm-hmm. but it's extremely important. Yes. Because it, uh, again, it does. Um, yeah, I find, too, a lot of people in the Success Academy and even our private coaching clients, once we get past some of the mind shift changes like charging and and um, what the, the right customer is and your why and that kind of stuff, then their minds just start to open up about um, their business as an actual business and what that means, and they need to have it look like an actual business. Right. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so let's go over. Let's take a look. Of course, i got to you know, simplify it here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> three three points about your brand, okay? <laughs> I mean, there's a, lot, there's a lot to the whole branding thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot there. But it doesn't have to be. We, try, we really do want to simplify the, these kinds of concepts. Sure. So, so stick mm-hmm. with me here, okay? I'll number one. Yes. Okay, number one. Mm-hmm. All right? It differentiates you. It differentiates you. Say that you. three times fast. Mm-hmm. I can't say that. I'm just a... Time I'm just a redneck from, <laughs> right? <laughs> I barely can oh, speak English, all right? It differentiates you, mm-hmm. okay? You know, I love the way um, Dan Antonelli Dan of Kick Charge, who you've heard is right, which is a, they're the branding experts. They're top shelf. Mm-hmm. In fact, you know, we're, we're going to push it that way. If you're mm-hmm. serious about creating a brand that that um, just owns the market, mm-hmm. you need to use pros. This isn't something, branding's not something you have your, your pal do, no. okay? The guy that drew... You know, was an artist in school, okay? <laughs> or go out on or, one of those um, those websites like um, Fiverr or, or one of those type right. things and, and go, you know, buy a, a logo. Don't or or, ha- or have your local vinyl guy do it, okay? Mm-hmm. It, this is if you're serious, okay? This mm-hmm. we're, t- we're talking about p- professional playing in the big leagues, right. okay? And it's investing, right. okay? And I would say I know um, some of our clients, uh, private coaching clients, are watching, and vast majority have gone through um, rebranding, yeah. and I know all of them would say. It's a game changer. Right. Absolutely game changer. It just it, mm. it does change things. Yep. But it is kind of when we're talking about, you know, the cost and the reason why you don't go right out, you know, right out of the shoot with it because mm. I mean you'll spend ten or twelve grand mm-hmm. as an investment. I mean right. it really is an investment. But like I said, I can I can spend that just mm. for some fancy whatever. But <laughs> but branding is so important here. The, okay. The and we ROI on that is a um, hundredfold. Yes. So, so we, we recommend um, Dan Antonelli's uh, group kick charge. All right. And if in you're fact, interested, yeah, right. you, I think I think you can type either brand or kick charge in the comments, and um, you can set up a meeting with them. Right. Or go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash kick charge. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, kick charge is the way to go. Jeff Jordan, his new brand yeah. is coming okay. out. All right. Soon. Branding is so important. Um, first impressions count. Absolutely right. right. Will is plumbing and property management. Well, I, lo- I, lo- I love how you. Mm-hmm. Um, what? What's the name of your brand? I'll go back. Go back. Put that back. Go back. Put that, put okay. That back back okay. Um, uh. Wills Plumbing. Okay. Wills, okay. You need to call Kick Charge. Okay. Love you, brother mm-hmm. or sister. I'm okay. assuming that Wills Not is th- your last name. Okay. Right. So listen up. What we're going to go over here mm-hmm. and see see how this fits in here because this is a great example. I bet you look really good, and it's very clean. Mm-hmm. Okay. But listen up. What we're going to go over and how important branding is. Yep. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Number one, it, it differentiates you. Mm-hmm. From from everyone else, mm-hmm. okay. And what I was getting to, what what um, what Dan had said, he has a saying, mm-hmm. you know, branding versus blanding, blanding, blanding. Mm-hmm. And sadly, a, a lot of the, the plumbing companies out there are blanding. Yes. Okay. They mm-hmm. got the red, white, and blue truck mm-hmm. or white truck mm-hmm. with you know some basic letters and mm-hmm. maybe maybe some image on it. Okay. Um, you know, even with a name. Mm-hmm. Not Joe's much, plumbing. right? Mm-hmm. Joe's Plumbing or mm-hmm. or initials. Mm-hmm. Do you remember the the worst company it was one of my clients, but not for long. <laughs> Do you remember? Oh no! It was 
Um, no, okay, we're not doing that. Not, no, 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 we're not doing yeah, that. I'm, I'm going to say it because, it, guys, <laughs> okay. this is just how bad, and this is where a lot of, are close to this, <laughs> but not this, not bad. So mm-hmm. I, I don't want you. Well, I guess you can say well, we're not that bad, mm-hmm. but it was R F G mm-hmm. Plumbing because that was his initials. But they had on the car, <laughs> but it actually, it was her initials. It was actually his initials. Right. But it was real freaking good plumbing. On and his did, truck. And it didn't say freaking. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're probably still in business. Oh. oh, I'm sure they're, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're working for every oh. commercial account at bottom dollar and mm-hmm. chasing the money and all that kind of stuff. Truck you want to pull into Mrs. But, but that's not where you're going to pull in, you know, to the gold mine, you know, yeah. or whatever. Okay. <laughs> oh, that didn't last for long. Okay. Ah, okay. But yes. branding okay. versus mm-hmm. blanding. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And the blanding is there's a lot of blanding mm-hmm. out there. And you're just kind of blending into everything. Yes. You know, there's this, you know, if you, you can picture, there's so much noise out there, mm-hmm. visual noise. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know that's kind of a play on, mm-hmm. but there's so much going on. The brain only has, right. um, you know, it used it to only... be, it used to be two and three seconds. <laughs> no, it's nanoseconds. It's nan- right. Literally, it's a split mm-hmm. second. It's half mm-hmm. a second. The brain is saying, move on. I don't even know what the heck that is. Mm-hmm. Forget about it. Move and on. so move they don't even forget about it. Mm-hmm. It says, if I ever see that again, don't ever look at that again, mm. okay? <laughs> I mean, it's it's dangerous mm-hmm. stuff, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. That that's what's happening out there, and mm-hmm. so you want to stand out above that. Absolutely, not okay. bland with everybody. No. Else. And think about it: a lot of the service trucks, carpet cleaners, electricians, whatever, they all have the white cargo van with some sort of lettering on it. Right? It all it all looks the same. They all look the same. Actually, um, today I was driving out and about today. And there's a lot of those types of vans um, in our area, and then all of a sudden I saw a bullseye. Um, I think it's Bullseye Home Services, and that's mm-hmm. a, a um, kick charge creation. Yeah. And it just, I mean, bam, it just hits stood you. Stood out like. Yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous truck. Right. Sparky, I don't know if you can pull that one right, up. Right, right. Can, you can see it coming. <laughs> but it's Bullseye Home Services um, here in Bradenton. Right. So, okay. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous, big old um, bull's head. And, right. Yeah. So yeah, you want to, anyway. and so, and by the way, the brand is not just what's on your truck. It's mm-hmm. it's all of you. Yes. So all this has to go together, mm-hmm. Okay. So, you know, you, you take that same kind of brand, what you're coming up with, are you uniformed? Right. Or are you just showing up in jeans and T-shirts with your name printed on it? Right, yeah, you know, right that, here. Well, you know, that, that kind of a thing. No. Or, right. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that's blanding, okay? Blanding. You're, you're just blending in everything, right. okay? And mm-hmm. you're blending into their expectations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Right. All right? No one wakes up in the morning and wants to call the plumbing. Mm-hmm. plumber. It ain't about plumbing, okay? It, and it's certainly, that is certainly the case when it comes to to the idea of branding mm-hmm. okay because it's not this there's a logical way that things are put together that pros like kick charge do mm-hmm. you know go through a whole um, right market analysis but right. the customer oh, experience so good, okay the customer so experience there and we that's go actually that that's not the same truck it's the, the one that's on the corner i don't know if they have any other yeah they're showing their there. whole company yeah, right yeah um, that kind of thing show like a van if they have a picture yeah, of a van or whatever of the van. okay yeah well see there's but a brand job. right there <gasps> there we go we are brand loyal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to the Lego head. <laughs> oh, Lego head. <laughs> well, okay. we just um, our Jeep um, seat cover should be coming in soon with your All right. Lego head on the headrest. See? It's gonna just be have fun. fun. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So, number yes. one, it differentiates you. Mm-hmm. Your brand differentiates you. Differentiates you. Okay? You. All right. So, there's that one. Number okay. two. Mm-hmm. All right? Number two, mm-hmm. it elevates you. Okay, it elevates you. Um, just like I had the, the RFG plumbing. Mm-hmm. Okay, do you think that in real freaking good plumbing, do you think that elevates them in the mind of the consumer or lowers them mm-hmm. in the mind of the consumer? Okay, and I certainly among the, pi- among the pack, <laughs> I would expect. Mm-hmm. I mean, okay, there's some more, you know, plumbers. Mm-hmm. Okay, and they're plumbers. All right. And that's what I would expect from plumbers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, raise the bar, guys. Right. Well, we don't have to be the butt crack plumbing. We don't have to be the, the joke, right? Because plumbers, what? Protect the health of the nation. nation. All right. Mm-hmm. But, okay, but it's like give them something different. What you want to hear mm-hmm. and what we hear all the time and we hear from our clients, well, mm-hmm. you don't look like a plumber. Right. You know, that's your plumbing a good company. Sign. That is a very good sign. <laughs> that's always a really good sign. Okay, mm-hmm. that that is a very, very, very good sign. Mm-hmm. Okay, you want to elevate yourself among the, among the pack. Right. Okay, so you're not even noticed. And that's easy. Right. That's easy to do. That sadly, mm-hmm. it's easy because I love the trade. Mm-hmm. But it's good news for you. 
Right. Okay. Most don't do so that. good news for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's why. So you can be a. You know, you can be. A, here's a chance to be as a little guy. You think I just I can't fight the big guys, and they're mm-hmm. already out there, and there's mm-hmm. all that. The customers don't know that. Mm-hmm. They don't. They don't know how big you are and aren't or whatever. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. They know how they feel about you, and what they think about you. People mm-hmm. do judge a book by its cover. It's true. You know, we. I know it's not PC, and we're mm-hmm. trying to all find where we all just get along, and we can change what two plus two <laughs> equals and all that. But it really doesn't work that way. All right. You step off a cliff, no matter how much you want to. You know, identify yourself with someone who can fly. You ain't flying, okay? All you're right, dying. You, you're dying. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a crazy time we live in. All oh, right, I but there, there's, there's just there's just law. It just works that way. Mm-hmm. So people are judging on, on you know on the way you look. Right. So and, and value goes along with that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So here's a great opportunity for you to even be just a one truck dude. Mm-hmm. You know, one truck Chuck. Yep. And you can look like you'll, you'll hear. Well, we see your trucks everywhere. <laughs> But they're so memorable. Right. I bet they didn't say that when you right. only had you know your your white van with the lettering on it. Right. They're just not going to say it. And when we talk about this all the time with our clients, and you'll hear about in the academy, those that are in the academy, you get to the section. Mm-hmm. But but the idea of you know Mrs. Jones really um, it, it makes her feel good to have your truck when it's all branded out mm-hmm. in her driveway. Right. Okay. It really we we think okay. That well, okay, if I just have a you know old truck and well, there's clean letters on it. Mm-hmm. You know, it's white and there's mm-hmm. clean letters and stuffs on it, and right. you know, it looks. And that, Mrs. Jones won't think I'm expensive. Mo- right. Mm-hmm. But that's not what that's she's not thinking. What she's thinking. Okay. Mm-mm. All right. So you, you really mm-hmm. want to you know a good brand elevates, elevates you. you. Okay. You that's can right. take you can take an well. We we talk about this with our hiring. Yes. You know, we mm-hmm. we experienced it. But right. you know, we see as times change. Mm-hmm. I mean, we hired guys that had tats. Mm-hmm. And had gauges, you know, mm-hmm. in their ears and that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. But if they could, if they could wear, you know, you dress them up in the uniform, mm-hmm. you know, and, and they good could character. speak. A good character, yeah. character is important part mm-hmm. of that. But it can be right. friendly, mm-hmm. and the brand can over overcome. Right, a lot you know, of things. So a lot a of good things. brand can overcome. But, and, and I've known right. great guys who could look at plumbing, mm-hmm. and it fixes itself. Just they, they look <laughs> at it, you know, and it fixes itself. So it's scared, scared of them, whatever. <laughs> But they, but the customers didn't trust them. Mm. Wouldn't have them do the work, mm. you know. There so, you so it right. elevates you. It elevates you. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, if you want to know more, very easily, more about this branding and some other things that are important in your plumbing business. Mm-hmm. All right, got something free for you. All right, my million dollar plumber blueprint. Mm-hmm. All right, all the specs. Okay, I lay out the specs that you need to have a successful, self-sustaining, and profitable plumbing business. Mm-hmm. Okay, so. You can start there, all right? If you're not in the academy yet, you're not, not sure you want to go that far with things, at least you can get this, okay? You can lay out these ideas and concepts for you, and it's free. All right, simply type free in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free and grab your free blueprint. All right, so there we go. Okay. All right, branding mm-hmm. doesn't matter to your plumbing biz. It sure does, all right? It, sure it differentiates right. you, mm-hmm. okay? It differentiates you. <laughs> you just keep saying that It now. differentiates <laughs> you, all right? All right? It elevates you, mm-hmm. okay? And finally, yes. all right, it endears you, okay? It endears, it endears you. you. It's like terms of endearment. I watched okay. a chick flick last night with the lovely Laura. <laughs> it was Mother's Day. It was Mother's and Day. And our kids are here. Um, okay. They're all across the country. Hey, she does. <laughs> and Terms of Endear... Terms of Endearment is, is my favorite movie. It's like your favorite movie. Of all time. From 1983. Yes, I saw it when it was in the theaters. Right. Um, so I well, watch it every now and then. It was only, you know, <laughs> she, you always watch all the action stuff, the James Bond and the all that kind of stuff, the John Wick stuff and... John Wick. Okay. Oh, my Lord. Never again. <laughs> so you do that. <laughs> Gladiator. Never. Braveheart. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm I only a... buy black vans and trucks. Ooh, black plus I'm tattooed and self-employed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, as long as they're cool tattoos. All right. Um, uh, what? No, Mikey. Oh, no. no. Not, and I'm sure you don't. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no such thing I mean, as a cute one. Well, Katie may think it's cute, <laughs> well, but no. Hopefully. Hopefully but <laughs> She's going to be the only nope. one. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> so anyway, you watch Terms of Endearment. Yes. So it endears you. It, yeah, it, so you watched that for me yesterday, last night, Mother's Day. That more was points. Very, very romantic. Yes, it was. <laughs> About a woman dying. Right. <laughs> Flap. 
The main character's <laughs> male character's name is Flap. Flap Horton. Flap Horton. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. The writers are going, what like, stupid name can we, can we come up with for the main okay. character? All right. Anyway, that's when, so it endears you. Sorry. I think that's when men started going downhill. <laughs> I, I think that's what I'll <laughs> flap. <laughs> All right. So, oh, but it okay, endears you. If you haven't seen it in terms of endearment, you got to see it. It's chicks. It's Guys, just, watch it with watch it with your wives. Oh, they'll hate, they'll, okay. you'll hate it. You'll right. absolutely hate it. Same. Yes. It endears you. But what endear, does that mean? a good brand endears you to well, to to your community. Mm-hmm. Okay. To to the, to your customers. Okay. Okay. There, you have such a huge opportunity, b- being a little guy, to do what I call you know planting a flag. Okay. Okay. Like like you are the plumber plumbing company to call. In the area. In, in the area. Okay. And so what I mean by that, well, okay. we, we have a couple, well, we, we have clients who've done very well, but we have a, a couple that are good examples mm-hmm. that are just uh, of this idea of endearing, endearing themselves, themselves to the, to the community. community. Mm-hmm. Okay. We okay. have um, um, Aspen Mountain Plumbing. Aspen Mountain. And out, dink, at Wyoming. Dink. Do we have? There we go. There Look at is. that. Okay, that that's their website. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, and I their think that's truck. Their Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Look, look at that. Yeah, so okay. Aspen Mountain in their area, Aspen Mountain Plumbing, is in now, Rock Springs, Wa- Wyoming. Rock Springs, Wyoming. Mm-hmm. Now, this may not mean something to you. This name and these colors, it didn't really doesn't really mean anything to us. But we're not the one. We're not in that community. Right. We we're not the there. ones that they're trying to attract. Right. But. Aspen Mountain mm-hmm. happens to be um, a landmark mm-hmm. in, in, the, in that area. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's everyone knows Aspen Mountain Plumbing. Right. So there's already a, a or Aspen Mountain or mm-hmm. Aspen Mountain. Right. So there's already a, a warm fuzzy feeling with that. Correct. Okay, and, and the colors here. Well, wait, and the leaf too. Oh, the, the leaf that's on there is um, like an as, is it Aspen tree or something? Yeah, that's an know. Aspen leaf. Yeah. Okay. So, the, which I think Dan did a really good job. No, that wasn't Dan. No, that was yeah, that was someone else that, that did it. Right, prolific. Well, yeah, prolific. prolific. It's another they good did, company yeah, out there. They yeah, did good work. All right. Um, but yeah, the shape of the the leaf. Right. Um, with the wrench inside, and then the colors. And the colors. Mm-hmm. Now the colors. What you think? What does that have to do with plumbing? Yeah, brown and brown gold. Leaf. Right. What? Now this is how it works. It's so cool. Mm. Um, first of all, Aspen Mountain. The colors that are very meaningful are that is that gold. Mm-hmm. Right. And then the aspen leaves get this mm-hmm. real beautiful gold mm-hmm. in the fall. Okay. Okay, so you captured that. Mm-hmm. But um, Wyoming doesn't really have any sports teams. Mm-hmm. So all of Wyoming, Wyoming's really into the, you know, Wyoming University or University of Wyoming, mm-hmm. the Cowboys. I guess what they are. They the I, think, I think the Cowboys. Oh. Okay. Um, I guess we'll find out when yes. we go there for their ribbon coating. Yes, for, for, for their, their, their new shop. Office. All right. Mm-hmm. But it's... Um, that so everyone follows the Cowboys or University of Wyoming, mm-hmm. which the colors happen to be brown and gold. What do you know? Mm-hmm. And so there's this emotion here. It endears them to the community. Right. Like the, they're the company mm-hmm. to call. Right. It's obviously a Wyoming company. Right. So and, and all of the other company, you know, are you know Master Plumbing or mm-hmm. you know Joe's Plumbing. Right. Or I'm you know Jack and Son Plumbing. I can't remember what their co- competition. You know, is it's, it's that kind of that. stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. So right so. now you can see. Look, look mm-hmm. at that. Mm-hmm. That that looks that looks like a franchise. Yep. All right. Mm-hmm. And oh, so that's what Mrs. Jones is thinking. Absolutely. That, which franchise equals that, that kind of look is that feels safe. And value. Right. But there's emotion there. Yeah. I like, mm-hmm. I've, I'm, I'm drawn to that. Right. Okay. So that feels like community. And, that, and, they want to, and they want to support someone in their community. Right. right. They want to support local businesses. Right. Mm-hmm. Another great example is, is Route 66 Plumbing <laughs> out of Amarillo, Texas. Amarillo. Look at that. Amarillo by morning. Route 66. <laughs> Get yours fixed. With Route 66. All right, Route 66 is an old, famous um, um, highway. Mm-hmm. Before there was, you know, 70 and 75, that kind of stuff, the old right. federal. That was that route. In fact, there's been movies about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oops, go All back, right. Spark. Sparky. <laughs> go back. Wake, Wake up, there. little buddy. All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> well, we threw him under the bus I know. with the... A five change. minutes before, five minutes before. Sparky, how good are you? We're going right. to try to pull this and off. And he did. He came up. So, But the Route 66 is a, a famous road, okay? Mm-hmm. In fact, Amarillo, Texas, there's a song, you know, and they even mentioned Amarillo. That's one reason Amarillo's on the map for mm-hmm. or whatever. Right. You know, Cars, uh, the movie Cars or whatever, mm-hmm. talked about that was mm-hmm. the Route 66, yep. okay? And then putting the main highway and mm-hmm. the little town was going out, whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, because, right, mm-hmm. but it's Route 66. Yes. So this has this warm motion. Connection. It, it, right. So it, it endears it to the community. It's right. not just, it ain't about plumbing. Mm-hmm. All right. It's, it's that emotion. Right. Thanks, Parky. You can put right. take that down okay. now. 
Um, yeah, love that truck too. We've seen that truck live in person as well, and the colors right just totally pop. Those so, so those colors are mm-hmm. kind of uh, a throwback, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. There we go. All right, dang. That's right. It is, isn't it, guys? All right. Um, Stellar Plumbing looks awesome as well. Yeah, yes. Stellar's got a great one. Yep. Um, Steve and, and Carrie out of Chicago. Chicago. Yes. All right. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, this is very important stuff. It, mm-hmm. it really it really is. Um, it, it's a big deal, mm-hmm. okay? Um, I, you know, it's... It matters, right. okay. And this is a game you got to play mm-hmm. if if you're wanting to again, um, one of, you know, it's one of the things you need to do to create a successful, mm-hmm. okay, a successful, you know, w- w- where you're not just working, you know, you know, owning your job, and right. and something that can be self-sustaining, mm-hmm. um, you know, and, and very profitable. In fact, we, you know, it's one of those things we talk. We want to set the business up to sell, mm-hmm. okay. We want to set business has to be set up to sell, even though you may not want to, okay. Um, a business is meant to be set up to sell, like you're, you're going to sell it, okay? It has to be kind of growing, mm-hmm. okay? And what will happen, you know, we hear all the time people say, someone wants to buy my company. Well, there's, um, you know, there's um, con men out there that are looking to pick up your company um, for nothing, mm-hmm. okay? They just want, and you wind up working for the business, and they make you these promises that, you know, okay, I'll come in and help you and, mm-hmm. you know, and I'll put my stuff in and put a little money in it, whatever, right. and whatever. And then you can keep your job. And then you keep your job. <laughs> right. I'm not talking that. I'm talking no. what the real money, okay, big mm-hmm. companies that come in, organizations that, that will buy you. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that's extremely important is have a brand that's recognized in the marketplace. Exactly. Okay, not Joe's Plumbing, not uh, RFG Plumbing, okay, not uh, Jack and Son Plumbing, mm-hmm. you know, All My Son's Plumbing. There we go. Mm. Stellar. Wow, Look Mark, at. you are really right. good. Stellar okay. plumbing. Look at that. That's a gorgeous truck. Those oh. colors, too. Love that with the pink. Right. Love that. Or fuchsia. I'm not sure exactly Whatever. what color it is, but yeah. You know, you wouldn't think to put that kind of stuff together, but mm-hmm. that's what, you know. you know, The professionals do. Right. And they rec- mm-hmm. you know, the brain recognizes that and, mm-hmm. is, and likes that. Okay. Right. It p- picks up on that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it's so important that you create this this recognized brand in the marketplace mm-hmm. to really sell your plumbing business for a lot of money, right? Not not just for um, you know the ability to work for someone else, right? And we hear that okay, all the time. which is sad. Yes. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. So and we trust the professionals. Trust you know someone that's been in business for a while um, that just isn't didn't decide. I'm just going to start designing logos on trucks. Right. Just because they they like to draw cartoon characters oh. and. In high school, doesn't right. make it okay, you know. Don't go that route. And that's one reason we, we're a fan of, um, you know, with Kick Charge. Yes. I mean, they've been around for over 20 years mm-hmm. and, um, you know, and have, has an organization. Mm-hmm. Others are working there. Yes. And, um, you know, they have a lot of experience. They focus on the trades. There is a difference between designing a brand for a plumbing business and a lawyer. Yes. When we did okay. have someone once that went to just a, like a regular brand designer or something and came back with this sleek kind of marketing looking thing, it had nothing to do um, with with. Uh, it looked like a bank, business. like a yeah. like a bank or an accountant mm-hmm. or something. Okay. Yes. My, uh, yeah. Won't be plumbers. They'll have different opportunities. <laughs> yes, they will. Right. Mm-hmm. Lots I know of we all. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, we had the same thought. I mm-hmm. didn't want my family, my boys, doing mm-hmm. plumbing. Mm-hmm. I wanted to learn how to write. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, that's a whole other story, whole other show. But is. okay, yeah. All right. Um, so and that's a great brand too, Matt Delney. Oh, Mountaineer. Mountaineer. Hey, that's can you find, find that? <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. right. <laughs> Mountaineer Plumbing. He just got it done. And um, Delney's have only been Mountaineers only been in business for just under a year. Just under a year. And that's one of the first things he did was right. he understood the the, the um, importance of that. Right. He's got a great truck, and actually, his brand is getting wrapped on city buses outside of. Uh, well, for in uh, Grand Rapids. In Grand Rapids, right? right. So I love, oh, love, there it I love is. their oh, story. Man, Sparky. Okay, what else can we throw at him? Okay, look there at that. Look so at that's that a kick thing. charge design. Mm-hmm. So who do you think, um, <laughs> you know, Mrs. Jones is going to call? Mm-hmm. Jack's Plumbing. Mm-mm. You know, RFG Plumbing, or Mountaineer Plumbing. Look okay. At it. it's just Look gorgeous, at that. Those colors. And I love, I love how they get it. The mm-hmm. Delnays have been very successful. Thanks, Marky. Um, Good job. Because they, they've pushed through. Mm-hmm. Um, I love the example. And I'm, I'm sure. I don't think Matt will mind me telling the story, well, Re- relaying the story. I'm going to anyways, Matt, because <laughs> it's so cool. And the other guys, you got to listen up to this. When, when they signed up, when they signed up with Kick Charge, mm-hmm. 
they didn't have all the money to pay for kick charge. Mm. So this is before, I mean, literally. I mean, they didn't they have. They planted a seed. They're right. They plant, right. <laughs> and they figured by the time they'd have to pay the other half, mm-hmm. you know, when they closed, you know, mm-hmm. figured there'd be a process that we'd have the money. Yep. Okay, because they looked at it as an investment. Right. Not, not as, did. I'm going to die here. Yes. And you their know. truck has gotten, I don't remember, it got nominated or. I um, think it won a, a month of uh, plumbing. Uh, plumbing truck of the month yeah. or something with one of the magazines. I forget right. what it is. Um, yeah, and they've been written up in local papers. Right. That's exciting. what a brand and does. all because of the brand. Right. So. Okay. So. Brand. Does branding land. matter to your plumbing business? Yep. I don't know. You tell me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is this thing on? Okay. So there we go. Okay. Okay. Yes, all right. I, Good stuff. I love it. Um, should have Dan Antonelli back on one day. He's yeah. He's always a good guest. And, and, talk, and talk, talk some brand. That. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love us and kick charge. All right. Hey, if you want to know more about this branding, in fact, Dan mm-hmm. teaches a class he in the Success in Academy. Success Academy. He sure does. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and of course, we, we have a branding section, and he teaches one of the classes. Mm-hmm. Okay. But if you want to know more about, again, about branding and these other elements that are very important, in fact, they're vital to the success of your plumbing business. Okay. Mm-hmm. If you're truly looking to create a successful self-sustaining and profitable plumbing business that will provide you what we call the freedom lifestyle Mm -hmm. okay when you can live the life that you truly want to live not be stuck in an office babysitting some plumbers and you know dealing with customers day in and day out that kind of a thing but creating this asset that eventually you can even sell either your milk the cow okay or you wind up selling it because they will come knock knock knocking on your door Mm -hmm. all right and you need the success academy okay and right now, you can check it out for free, okay? 14-day free trial. Look, I'm just trying to make it as easy as for you to, you know, help me help you, okay? All right? Jerry McGuire. 14-day free trial. <laughs> Simply type success in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success to grab your free trial today. All right, there we hey. go. Good stuff. Fun show. All right. Thanks, okay. Thanks. Branding, it is important. All right? But before I let you go, as always, <laughs> I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.